There are many questions circling on whether the government is becoming too powerful and overstepping its role. Local 15 Stephen Quinn tackles the question and speaks with our viewers in this week's Say What. In his most famous address, Abraham Lincoln talked of a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. But has today's government become too involved with its people? Jane Mayo believes so. She points to the recent proposal out of the Arizona legislature that would have allowed businesses to deny services to homosexuals on the sole basis of their religious beliefs. Please, how did that ever even get there as far as it got? Mm -hmm. It's like... <laughs> Do you, are you, so you seem to be kind of questioning how these politicians, what their motives are. What their, just where are they coming from? I mean, you know, go ahead and open up that can of beans and see what happens. <laughs> The NSA phone hacking scandal goes too far for Barb Miller. It's even changed the way she uses technology. Is it, uh, does it hinder what you do on your computer? Mm -hmm. It sure does. I don't do a whole bunch on it. I'd like to do a hands-on, person-to-person mm -hmm. type deal. It kind of scares me. Everyone I spoke to believes the government is too involved in their life in some way. Yet, any change to government involves laws being passed. Is that too much for today's politicians? I asked Stanford Daniel and Faye Burner. That, that compromise, I mean, is that something that you guys would be happy in seeing your elected officials do? Yes, that's how we got uh, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution anyway, not just have it one single person or party's ideas. For Congress, action must come quickly. After all, they have nine months until folks across the nation head back to the polls and cast their ballots. Reporting in Mobile, Stephen Quinn, Local 15 News.